Well, we've had wings in the sky for almost a week now. We thought we'd put some wheels on the ground. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a budget vehicle. This is RGT. It's a nice little short course truck, but it's not a traditional chassis. It has the more of a desert truggy or desert buggy style chassis back here. Uh, you don't see that traditionally on a short course truck. So that's what makes this a little bit different. Budget is nice, ready to run. Came with a wall charger, which is good. Although it does have a nickel metal hydride battery inside. Amazingly, this has a little jumper on the ESC that you can pop right over and run a 2S LiPo on here. The downside is it's a Tamiya plug. So if you're good at soldering and you like the hobby, you can pop that off and maybe put on a Dean's plug or an XT60, whatever you run. Dean's is pretty common for ground vehicles. So there's a lot going on here. It's a nice quality tire, probably the best quality tire on a budget vehicle I've ever seen. I don't know if you guys can tell that's extremely soft and extremely squishy, which means we should have some really nice performance out of this with our independent oil-filled shocks. I'm really thinking this is going to drive really well. It comes in about $110 to $120. The price fluctuates some, but for a budget ready to run vehicle with the battery and charger, that's a great price. We're just here at the park to have some fun with this. Let's drive. So this is a brushed motor, right? That's probably the biggest downside, but if you read the setup online and just looking at the setup in person, it would be very easy to convert this to brushless. I love that the ESC is 2S LiPo ready, so you really would only have to swap it out to a nice brushless motor. I'm sure the ESC would be fine to handle brushless. I'm thinking we'll get about a 10 minute, oh, there's one. one. That's one. That's one. You get three flips, it's my turn. Hi, I'm Abby, and uh, I like to drive trucks, and I was nice enough to let Nathan drive first. <laughs> Two. Well, this is short-lived for you, I think. I'd like to do an asphalt drive-by, but we might save that for you. You know, it's weird driving a short-course truck that has this desert, truggy, buggy style of axle on the back. But it's cool. I like it. I think it's more of an off-road style vehicle. And if you had 10 friends together at the track and everybody picked one of these up, you know, I could see, I could see these being raced around at the track for that reason. Because it looks, I mean, it looks really good against dust and dirt. But, you know, I, I see, oh, there's like a random right there. <laughs> oh, I see this being driven at a park like this. That's why we chose to drive here. This definitely, I don't think it could conquer the hill. We're at the same park where the hill is, but I just couldn't see this conquering the hill. It just doesn't have enough clearance. Tell you what, Abby, I'm going to, I really want to see an asphalt drive-by while we still have pretty fully charged battery. So let's go up here and do that. It doesn't want to roll even with full throttle, full steering. It only rolls when I hit a really funny bump at a funny angle. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Might need a hair of trimming. I'll try to trim it up before I give it You're to you. You're on a yeah, curve too. Oh, I spoke too soon about the rolling. <laughs> it definitely needs trimmed, but luckily we can it's do that on the It's a sharp little curve right here. Just full throttle. That was a full throttle pass. I'm gonna say we're not even pushing 20 miles an hour. One more time. But in the scale world, oh, it's pretty tipped. quick. The soft tires are really like kind of knobby and they grip and hold really well. It I looks wanna... good. It does look good. I like the color scheme too. Let's trim this up. I don't think I need to wreck it three times for you to drive. I want you to have Give some Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. No. <laughs> Office reference. Okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> See, I, the, I knew it could flip pretty easily, so I wanted to test it. The tires are so soft yeah. that it just grips. I got it trimmed up before I passed the controls off to Abby, so it should be running a little bit more straight now. Full but, throttle on this curve, though, doesn't happen. That's right, yeah. That's nice. See, oh, it, it, yeah. You can't do this Those tires section. dig in. On a short course truck style vehicle, you usually don't have such soft tires. Let's try it in the grass. Okay. Okay, pretty tall grass, so I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> That's one. That's one. You definitely have to let off the throttle anytime you're going to turn. Turn sharp, right, I guess. I'm going to stop it in the grass and now see if it can go. It can. That's tall grass. Yeah. Too, so. I like this. RGT's putting out some pretty good stuff. Oh, pretty good stuff right Ouch. now. Yeah. You know what's cool about this thing? Look, stop for a second. The side profile of it 
your rear is sticking up a little bit higher than the front and in a traditional short course truck you don't you don't usually see that it's got that flat chassis usually short course trucks are just simple simple and flat chassis you're looking for the ramp aren't you i am looking for a little we've bunny got, hop we've got the asphalt curb here i think it'll ramp nicely ah, a little bunny hop we've got a it's right around there right there you see it yeah here we go i think it's going to hit dead in his tracks oh, okay yeah there's one spot that looks like it's a pretty <laughs> steep drop off because it doesn't have a lot of clearance all right I hit it. <laughs> we should have brought the ramp with us this would be fun with a little ramp so the oh. way i view this little guy i think i think it was 16th scale i think I could like that. the dromeda vehicles no dromeda was 18th scale then we may be looking at 18th yeah. But the way I view this little guy is just kind of like a fun, quick, last minute basher. Doesn't take up any room in your car, completely ready to run, and because of the scale of it, you know, parts and things are gonna be readily available. This would be fun on a dirt track. Yeah, well, maybe we should take it to the dirt track. I just don't know because the tires are so soft. That's why I thought maybe we don't wanna do the dirt track, but it probably would slide around it pretty well because I feel like it'd be okay. I feel like it could. So uh, there's a there's kind of like two different schools of thought with your softer tires. A lot of guys like softer oh, tires man. on the dirt track when you're racing around, but you wear through your grip really fast when you have really soft tires. I feel like you're aiming for my toes. I'm always aiming for you. I got sandals oh, no. on. Ah, we're gonna count that as a flip. Ah. Okay. Oh, it's not a flip. You got it. What do you guys think? I want to hear from you in the comments below. Are you a fan of smaller vehicles or bigger vehicles? I have a, there's a couple patrons that I text regularly. Uh, they only buy things that are larger than 10th scale. But then I also have a couple patron people that I text regularly uh, that have only things that are 10th scale and smaller. Oh, that's two. You get one more, even though I only flipped twice. It you is, get one more. It is very reminiscent of like 2015 or so. Driving our smaller stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that we have some giant things now too, but oh, yeah. there's nothing wrong at all with getting a smaller vehicle out like this, taking it to the park, getting a hot dog nearby, and hot just dog. running your RC. I like it. I love the bright color. The bright orange is kind of like a like a safety cone orange paired with that royal blue. It looks really good. I don't think I've ever really seen anything exactly that color scheme. Look at this thing sitting in the sun here. I think it looks nice. Yeah. Now let's go right here and do a drive-by. Okay. Should be able to do it down this way since it's fairly straight. Cool. Well, that's and range, you know, since we're getting a little farther away, range is generally not a factor on these 2.4 gigahertz vehicles. It's not slow, but it is brushed. It's four wheel drive. Oh, whoa, uh, that's three. There's a car coming. Let me run and get it. Okay. Nate recovered it for me. <laughs> Well, I really like this. Uh, two big thumbs up. You know, the only thing that this really reminds me of is when Corona first hit and we were driving our very first vehicle at the airfield because this park was closed, we had a bright orange truck that looked a lot like this. It was a short course truck, but it had that buggy style of rear end on it. That's, this is the second time we've ever seen that. And, and I like this one. I, I like how, <gasps> what happened? Oh no! No! <laughs> There's a body flip no. missing. No. If you didn't see it. No. That's like the worst who did thing. it? Who did it, guys? Well, you know. You'll have to look through the footage and see who did it. Who lost the body flip? They're so sacred. Oh, oh man. <laughs> well, now it's two thumbs down. No. Right. I'm just kidding. It was fun. That's this why is, there's a body clip missing. It's awesome. I really do like this. Um, I don't know if it will replace your traditional short course style truck with the flat chassis, but it is fun to bash around at a park 
like this. There are so many spots that you can have fun with a vehicle that's like this. It reminds me of our very first vehicles that we bought. Do you remember the Iron Track Spathas? Yep, just a little smaller. Mm -hmm. yep. Definitely smaller, but I think I'd have rather owned this than those Iron Track Spathas. It's a good, ready to run setup. And as I said, this battery tray here, which is really nice, has uh, got more than enough room for most of your smaller 2S LiPo packs. Just a little jumper. You don't have to modify anything. You don't, if you want to upgrade your battery, you take one little plastic piece off the ESC and put it over on the other two pins. Very easy to do, and you can run your LiPo batteries and not just the older nickel metal hydrides. Are you, let us know in the comments, a nickel metal hydride fan or a LiPo fan? We actually have a good handful of people that are watching that like nickel metal hydride batteries. I do not, but I do see the appeal. Tell us what your favorite kind of battery is in the comments below. Have you converted to smart batteries yet? I love talking about batteries. Does that make me an RC nerd or something? I love batteries in RC. Well, for the whole hobby, just for getting out and enjoying this with Abby and Amelia, she'll get to jump in after the video's over. Uh, and just this park, it's just an awesome, just an awesome hobby. I'm so grateful. And for all that, I thank God. We just couldn't do this without you guys watching. And for all of the support from our Patreon supporters, we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We will link our video of the bright orange vehicle that I was talking about when our parks got closed because of Corona. That was a crazy experience to go through. That video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.